loud. Can you guys hear us? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Thailand. We are in Bangkok. We're going to see some temples today. We just got off the bus. Happened to be a free bus. Not sure why. But it was a long ride and we're going to... We're going to the Grand Palace, which is like the most important building in Thailand. In the country. So, I don't really know what's going on, but like they have a dress code there. So we brought like pants. It's like... Yeah, we don't want to get turned away. We're, we brought clothes, shoes, we brought things to cover up with just in case, we brought our passports just in case, I even brought socks just in case because I'm wearing like these shoes. I, I'm, so, I'm wearing my most touristy shirt today. So we're getting in, we're not getting turned away. <laughs> Let's go. A lot of people are getting turned away here at the entrance of the Grand Palace. If you're wearing shorts, tank tops, flip flops, anything that's like too revealing, you get turned away, no questions. You either have to buy something or just come back another day. So we got in with this, just to show you guys. We got in fine. Wes has his pants on. And now we have to pay. You look like such a tourist. Oh my god. We actually picked the coolest day of the week. Looking at the forecast, it's only a high of 33 with only 73% humidity <laughs> and that's the coolest for the week but we're inside it's 500 baht to get in you could pay an extra 200 baht for an audio guide but you do get a free guide when you walk in and they have so many different languages so we got English it is packed and it is Look how stupid I look. When we first got in here, it's like a sight, man. It is, it is a complete and utter sight. Just take a look. take off our shoes now to go see the Emerald Buddha, which is, I think, one of the highlights here of the Grand Palace. We just realized we weren't allowed to film in there. They were actually going through the... One guy took a picture, and then the guy grabbed his phone, not grabbed it, but took his phone and deleted the pictures. So it's, I guess it's to do with the sacredity of it. Sacredity? Is that the word? It, they are very strict here. If we can find a photo online, we'll put it here. But the Emerald Buddha is uh, like kind of like in a tower. And he's like sitting right at the top. It's very impressive. Guys, there is an insane amount of detail here. Every single place that you look, there's such intricate little details with jewels and stones and colors. And it's just so beautiful. One of the coolest things that I've seen here, there's six of, the, of these like demon guardians protecting the Buddha, they say. So they, they're like standing in front of like certain buildings. Oh, it's kind of cool. Like, we could spend all day here. This is like totally different than anything I've ever seen. Like, I, I just want to spend all day and, and film, take pictures. Oh my God. If it wasn't 33 degrees, <laughs> Our plan was to go to three different temples today, so I'm not 100% sure if we'll get to that. We can only walk so long before we have to hide out in the shade in front of a fan because it's oh. that hot. But I saw someone walking around with mango and I feel like there has to be food here and there is hope that we'll be able to last. I think it was like an illusion or a mirage because we're so hungry and we see nothing. But I swear someone had mangoes. <sighs> so I don't think they have food here, but uh, we managed to sneak in some peanuts because uh, we didn't eat breakfast. I don't know what happened. F F we forgot. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Rookie traveler's mistake not eating enough.
original plan was to do three temples today and it's not even three o'clock but we're like it might as well be midnight for us it's so hot we're tired there's a bunch of restaurants out here just outside the grand palace you could still get food for like 50 baht which is very reasonable and it's what we normally pay and there looks to be a pier slash floating market but it looks pretty touristy and we're gonna show you guys another floating market uh, in a week or so so I don't know what we're gonna do now but uh, hopefully it involves AC we just came into the 7-eleven it's the only place with AC. They got my favorite drink, Chang. It's a beer company and a water company. Who knew? Or it's just a company that makes beer and water. How grumpy was I before I came in here, Tom? He was, uh, I don't Man, know. It's hard to do anything. And that's he. We're from Canada, eh? <laughs> and uh, it's not as hot there. It's like a sandwich, but instead of a bun, they use rice. And this is pink rice, hot dog in a bag, cold. What's cool about 7-Eleven here is you can buy all this food. Probably not good for you, but they heat it up right like at the counter. They're like, you want warm? They warm it up, you take it, you eat, you happy, you get a happy belly. Chang. 